Okay, let's do some basic geometry in SketchUp, but don't worry, it's not going to be too mathematical. We are building some more complicated shapes that can be very helpful in SketchUp. Then we are learning how to build shapes that we already know how to build, but in a faster way. And we are using a new way of applying text in SketchUp. So let's start by making a grid. How can we make a grid with the guidelines? Well, first of all, go to the tape measure to T and go from the green axis 3000 millimeters to the right. And how can we create 10 more lines here to the right? Well, we could do it manually, but we can also do it faster by selecting this line and then getting the move tool and moving a duplicate by pressing control and now we are going 3000 millimeters towards the right and before you do anything else hit the multiply key so this little star that you see now in the box where it says distance on the right and then enter 10 because we want to have 10 more lines and you see this is how you can multiply objects very very quickly in SketchUp this is very helpful if you're building a staircase for example and you want to have 10 steps that all have the same distance, use the multiply function. So once again, if you have, for example, a line and you want to duplicate this line 10 times with the same distance towards the back, move it once. And before you do anything else, hit the multiply key and now duplicate it 20 more times. And there you go. And one very interesting function with the line, by the way, is also that you can right click on it and divide it. So if you want to have uh, 20 pieces of this line, go to divide. And now you see on the bottom here, it says segments. And then it also says segment length here. And you can do this now with the mouse. If you go left, you create less segments. If you, create if you go right, you create more segments. You could also enter the number of segments. Now let's do 12 segments, click once, and then you see now you could select the single segments and delete them or do whatever you wish with them. But let's continue with this grid. We need one more guideline here. So go to the tape measure once again and go 3000 millimeters from the red axis. And well, maybe one more line. So another line here. 3000 millimeters from the first guideline. Okay. 